Hi all, welcome to Sonu's KB and today we are going to see how to install Triple ST and ADSYS to apply group policy on Ubuntu 22.04. For that, let us verify a few of the settings like if config of the Ubuntu, verify the IP address of Sonu's.kb. This is the domain which we are going to use to join Ubuntu. This is the server name srv2019.sonu's.kb. Here it is now we have to update the packages first so that we can install the triple sd and other required packages to join ubuntu to windows active directory for that we have to install triple sd dash ad triple sd dash tools realm d and ad cli these are the required packages for you know joining the Ubuntu 22.04 with Windows Active Directory. So let's wait for it and it will take some time to get the installation done. Here it is. So installation is in progress and it will complete in few seconds or few minutes you can see. After this we are going to verify a few of the settings with the command provided by triple sd and realmd here it is now clear the screen realm list is the command which we can test but uh, as it is not joined with the domain let's verify the discovery of the windows active directory realm discover srv2019.sonus.kb this is the Active Directory server name which is part of this network Hyper-V I'm using for that I have two VMs let's join the domain with the sudo realm join srv2019.sonus.kb this is the server name again and we have to put the password of this uh, server here now the system has joined the windows active directory we can verify with the triple sd dot con file here it is now it is joined by sonus.kb's domain and rest of the settings are there you can verify it let's clear go to the next step uh, this is the step for pam auth and update make home directory this is the command used for you know enabling the home directory for windows active directory users in Ubuntu host name is the Sonus KB dash virtual dash machine so this is the host name of this Ubuntu we can verify it whether this is joined in the Windows Active Directory or not for this we have to go to Windows Active Directory server and go to dsa.msc where users and computer can be managed look at this uh, this is the computer OU here is the name now the system has joined automatically the name get configured here this is the Bob username which we are going to use for apply the group policies with the ADSYS let's try to log in with the Bob now as the system has joined the uh, Windows Active Directory we have to go to switch user here not listed and here you have to put bob at sonus.kb this is the domain name and the username which is created in active directory this is creating the home directory now look at this now the user is able to log in on the ubuntu machine with the windows active directory credential let us verify few of the things now in uh, terminal pwd for checking the current directory this is the home sonus kb bob and who am i bob is the logged in user now let us go to second part of this video this is the installation of ad sys which is the uh, group policy client for ubuntu and to apply group policy of windows uh, server 2019 on ubuntu machine for this let us update the repository first and then install sudo apt install adsys this is the command which we are going to use for installation of adsys it will take some time 
after this we are going to generate admx and adml templates file those files which we have to transfer to windows domain controller and then we'll paste in the specified location policy definition policies and syswall folder i'm verifying sudo realm list look at this now this system has already joined to windows which is a prerequisite of this uh, adss command okay now let us download the admx and adml templates files here all admx all now it will download this file on the desktop of the ubuntu machine here it is these two files have been created now we have to shift these files to the domain controller server SRV 2019 syswall folder let's go to the location then for the files and I already mapped SMB so you can map in uh, other location go to uh, the users administrator desktop will paste there and verify whether the files are there or not I haven't uh, copy paste to those files here so i'll paste it on the desktop only look at this the files are not there so i'm going to copy and paste from the ubuntu desktop to the windows server copy from here and paste on the desktop so these files are moved to windows active directory server now i'm going to the windows server now on the desktop we have two files copied from uh, ubuntu so these files i'm going to copy to the syswall folder here on domain policies and policy definitions here you have to paste those two file admx and adml in uh, en dash us folder look at this these are the locations which we have to take care policy definitions maybe the folder is not there so you can create it manually there if it is not present there so en us is the adml file location we have to copy and paste adml file there in en dash us folder now the file is copied successfully now we have to check few of the group policy which we are going to apply look at this i'm going to apply sudo or permission for bob at sonos kb via group policy this is the group policy i'm going to try here so for that i'm going to the windows server first and i have few already tested uh, group policies which i'm going to delete so that i can show you so ubuntu client is the computer ou where i have moved my ubuntu ubuntu machine in this particular ou so that i can apply this policy local admins right so this is the sudo permission i'm giving with this particular ou in ubuntu 2000 uh, 20 uh, sorry 2204 so ubuntu client manager here the you can see these policies templates are created as we have copied the ADML and ADMX file this is the client administrator role Bob at Sonus KB I'm going to add as a sudo over permissions so this will get the permission of sudo -er. we can see that earlier we are not able to log in uh, as a sudo -er from you can see the earlier I'm getting error that you are not a sudo -er, uh, accessor now i'm going to apply first get the policy updated manually for this you have to adss ctl policy update dash av this is the file local downloading local admin rights so this template is already created here the group policy gpu is applied on this uh, system let's verify whether bob is getting the permission of sudo or not earlier 
saying this incident will be reported means uh, this is not having the rights of this uh, pseudo work let's see this is the uh, one more verification that bob is getting the permission here the policy is applied successfully these two command i'll mention in the uh, description box so that you can verify whether the policies are implemented on ubuntu or not let's uh see whether sudo dash i put the password here look at this now who am i i get the root access on this ubuntu via group policy so here i'm able to get the group policy applied on this ubuntu 22.04 after this, I'm going to disable the uh, sudo or permission again with the help of uh, group policy. Now I have configured, not configured it and disabled it via group policy. Now I'm going to manually apply the policy. It is a CTL policy update dash AV put the password of Bob here. Bob is already having permission now, but after this downloading local admin rights, it's going to be out of uh, root access let's verify we can check one more S just put sudo dash i and here it is this incident will be reported it means it is out of uh, access of root thank you for watching and hope you enjoy this video please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye